There is a persistent belief in many modern industrialized societies that the more choice we have, the better off we are. How many of you think that choice equals freedom and the more choice we have, the better, the happier we will be? Couple? Okay, great. I can talk about it from uh, my own experience. For a Thanksgiving getaway, I was looking for um, a nice vacation to Miami, and I was looking for different trips and packages that I could book for my boyfriend and myself. And as you can imagine, there, there are hundreds and hundreds of different options out there. I remember I spent a lot of time looking through all of the options and trying to find the best one. But the more I was discovering, the harder it was for me to actually make a decision. How do I go about it in the most efficient way, I was thinking? Do I compare prices, hotels, what's included in the package, or just the ease of shopping? Finally, I just had to make a decision because I didn't want to spend any more time on it and the departure date was approaching quickly. I remember how satisfied and relieved I was when I was finally done with all this process. But have I made the best decision? I was asking myself this question because first, I'm a money conscious person. I would hate to spend more than I would ne necessarily um, want to. Or what if there are other options that are better for me? Of course I would not want to miss out on all the opportunities available for me out there. And um, after I finally was done with it, I kind of got distracted and stopped thinking about all those questions. But shortly thereafter I was brought back to it. I was surfing the internet in search for something inspirational. And I stumbled across a TED talk by Barry Schwartz. It was called A Paradox of Choice. It seemed interesting to me, and I decided to watch it. Dr. Schwartz is a psychologist, and he studies human behavior. So I thought, he must know a thing or two about why we make the decisions the way we do. So in his talk, he talked about, he spoke about um, how we strive to have more choice, but the more choice we have, the harder it is for us to make a decision. And then he also mentions a phenomenon called the opportunity cost. It refers to the fact in which um, the way we value things depends on what we compare them to. And that is exactly what I experienced after I had booked a hotel, the, the package for Thanksgiving getaway. Or think about it yourself. Imagine you received a performance bonus. <coughs> You're probably happy, right? But then you figure out that everyone else in your department got one too. That probably would diminish the satisfaction you get from your bonus, even if the bonus itself is still the same. We really want to get it right the first time around. With hundreds of options available to us, it's almost inexcusable for us to make the wrong choice and end up with a not a perfect product. And we blame ourselves if we don't get it right. And we try to avoid this mistake in the future. But that makes it even harder for us to make a decision. That produces paralysis. Or if you make a decision and you're pretty happy with it, you keep thinking about all the alternatives and the options that you didn't choose. Many people live with FOMO, or fear of missing out. I know that I do sometimes. So what do we do with all this? To answer this question, Dr. Schwartz uses the metaphor of a fish in a fishbowl. So if you think about it, at first you might think that, well, this fishbowl is pretty small and it's all this fish knows, so he probably is not very smart. But think about it some more. This fish navigates his fishbowl pretty well, 
and he's he might even be happier and some and somewhat better off than some of us. We all need such metaphorical fish balls to navigate our worlds. Because without them, we will be overcome by paralysis and unable to act. Maybe not quite as small of a fishbowl, but you get an idea. So to feel happier, stop endlessly comparing all the existing options. And when you make a decision, just make it a point to be happy with it. Stop thinking about the alternatives and just savor the moment. And like Leo Tolstoy said, if you want to be happy, be. Thank you.